Hello, this is a quick tutorial explaining how to set up LODs correctly that when you export them from Maya and bring them into Unity it already has the LOD group components attached so whoever's implementing it doesn't still need to do that so here's an FBX file that, doesn't, that wasn't exported correctly um, it's got a few things wrong with it one, the pivot point is in the wrong location but that's not um, an issue we'll discuss now so you'll see there's the different LOD points but there's no um, LAD group component added. You can add it afterwards, and there you can see you can slide between the different LODs. It's not even working though. It's showing, it's telling you it's switching, but it's not actually disabling the other LODs, uh, and that still needs to be set up afterwards. So, in in general, it's not working as planned. So I'll show you how to set that up correctly. So if we go over to Maya. Here's the, the models, the three different LOD models. First thing we want to do is rename these correctly. So just re remove the underscore and add in a description beforehand. Uh, this seems to, to help it to work. If you don't do this step, it doesn't seem to work, strangely enough. And there's another step as well. So there we've renamed it. Now you've got to hold in control, select your first uh, LOD level, your highest resolution model, and then you go down and down to your last one. Then you can create the LOD group by clicking on this button here or going up to uh, LOD and clicking LOD group. Now there's still one more step you need to do to fix this because if you drag this into Unity it's still not going to work, it won't have the LOD group component. You have to ungroup these subgroups for some odd reason why it creates them, so we just ungroup that one, ungroup that one and ungroup that one. Now we've got uh, LOD group with our three different models within and we go file uh, export selection and I'm just going to create a test one over there. Alright, let's go back to Unity and I'm going to drag in the test file and see if our LOD component works now. Just give that a moment. So there's our test file. Let's drag it in and voila, we didn't have to do anything um, and we automatically just going it's going to switch the different components so let's just make that a little bit closer to the camera so we can actually see the jump okay so here you can see it's actually turning off the other LOD components um, and it's just showing LOD 0 and then it's going to um, jump to the next model and then to the next model. We can even set it closer so we can clearly see that jump very easily. Just set it to 90 and 80. So just watch there. So we're on LOD 2, go to 1, and you can just see that jump right there. And it's working perfectly. And then LOD 0. And that was all um, preset in our FBX just because we um, did the correct settings and renaming and ungrouping in Maya beforehand. I hope this helps. Bye.